Okay, YouTube, I just wanted to uh, create a, a brief video showing you my uh, rig tie inverter. And this is a Sun 500 watt uh, grid tie inverter. It's their, I guess, their SG model. And as you can see on the side right there, um, it's really it's functioning, you know, pretty well. Really, the lights are going really fast. And this grid tie inverter is actually tied into my battery bank as opposed to panels because I want it more efficiency. Um, as you can see right here, uh, right now time is it's about like uh, close to 8:20, 8:30 in the morning, and as the sun rises higher in the sky and when it hit and when it'll hit my uh, south-facing panels directly, then um, my amperage will go up. Right now, uh, with that, it's you know, it's pulling about 13 uh, 13 amps coming from the battery itself. Looking down here at my little meter, I've got a timer. I, uh, I bought another timer from Lowe's. I don't know if you can see those numbers, uh, but it's about 474, 75 uh, watts being uh, put into the house. And I just checked the meter, you know, and we're talking this is a normal daily operation. Uh, I mean, as far as there's nothing mysterious going on in the house. Um, and my meter is actually turning backwards. Uh, I've got this fan going, just a simple 12 watt, uh, 12 volt fan that I got from um, Walmart, um, and it's cooling down uh, my power inverter. I really don't like that fan because it interferes for some reason. Uh, it's from China, but uh, you know, just like <laughs> just like my power inverter. Uh, but for some reason, this fan interferes with my garage door opener. Um, but you know in any case it's it's okay for right now but uh, i just wanted to show you that you know again i right now it's it's going down as i as i said as the sun gets higher in the sky um i expect that uh to to get lower as far as the amperage coming out of my battery bank from my inverter why did i put it uh why did i go this route as opposed to putting it directly to the panels uh, well i believe it's more efficient this way um, you know, I'm going to get the full power of it. And yes, it does get hot. This thing, this thing will get hot, uh, you know, with that much, that much power coming out. These things are supposed to be MPPTs, but, uh, they, they leave much to be desired. Um, I will leave the MPPT functionality to my charge controllers, um, you know, and putting that, in, that energy back into the bank. And you know, I I got 670 watts of panels, you know, out outside, and uh, and you know, even on a even on a good day, with even with the inefficiency, I should expect at least uh, between 550 and 600 watts coming back into my battery bank, even with the inefficiencies. So it this should more than compensate on a you know, I'd say on a typical eight-hour day. Um, again, it's holding steady. I have a 24 volt system. And it's holding steady around 474, 475, you know, or something like that. So, anyway, I just wanted to show you that uh, for someone who was thinking uh, about tying it to their battery bank. Um, the thing that I can say is simply, if you've got enough panels uh, putting power back into the battery bank, it will balance out. Um, I, I, I truly believe that it, it'll balance out. And again, I'm gonna I'm gonna check this again around noon. Um, but right now, 12 amps coming out of my battery bank, and that's acceptable. That's, you know, to include the fans that I've got running, you know, fan here, uh, fan here, uh, fan here, and that fan over there. That's coming out. Also, I've got some other stuff plugged in, so that's coming from the battery bank, too. So, you know, yeah, it's, uh, you know, and plus this inverter here, so... You know, 12 amps coming out in, in the morning around, you know, 8.30 or so. Yeah, that's acceptable. And as, I, again, as the day goes forward, I expect that number to decrease. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to show you guys that, you know, just maybe helping someone out. Again, it, I, you know, maybe this, you know, all of this may not be the best way. Uh, but it's the way that I, you know, I accept. Um, and I'm going to get the most out of this inverter you know, while it lasts, it's you know, it's it's a cheap inverter. You get what you pay for. Um, you know, I don't expect you know, I expect it to last 
you know, for a while at least. Uh, but you know, until then, I'm gonna I'm gonna get you know all I can from it. Okay, take care, YouTube.